Welcome to Channel to Chaos. Today we're going to solve a mathematical method using a C++ program. The method that I'm talking about is the Runge-Kutta second order method. Now this method was, well, we learned it in the high school, okay? Now this method consists of a value of x and a value of i and the value of a difference. And difference was denoted with an h, okay? So what we would do is take these three values, put it into an equation, and after putting those into the equation we would get an average value. This was a Runge-Kutta method so I have taken the liberty to write the entire code to solve this method. Now ex I will explain you in a minute the code. First I would like to explain the stuff and state the stuff that I've used. I've used functions, I've used uh, different variable types like float and integers, I've used if-else statements, I've used the basic input and output operators like scene and cout, I've used different formatting operators like end l slash n slash t and so on. Also, I have used uh, default arguments. I've used switch case with three different cases. Inside each case, we have an if else statements. Also, we have an exit zero, okay, which is used to terminate the program. System clear, okay, and uh, basically break statements and a default statement. That's all I've used. So the program is really simple. It's only 130 lines, so it's, I will explain it to you in a jiffy. So I'm going to run the program first before I explain it to you. So there you go. Enter the value of x. Okay. Now, again, I would like to state this, that I have tested this program with some of the equations that I solved in my book, in my notebook. So I just solved it and saw that the results are exactly the same. But I would, would like to state that if you are working with a lot of floating values, it might give you an approximate value, which wouldn't be wrong at all, but it would be approximate. Okay, so starting with it, enter the value of x, 0, the value of y, which is 1, and the value of h, let's say 0 0.1. Okay, this particular values, I've put it into the equation and it gives me the exact the same result. So if you want to try it with other values, it's just going to work fine. Okay. I press enter and it gives me a new screen which says given data x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1 and h is equal to 0 0.1 the data that we just entered. Now I've also written a small C out statement where it's, it states the both of these formulas for the k1 and k2 and obviously I haven't written the formula of the average because it's basically k1 plus k2 divided by 2 okay that's the average of these two. So that is a uh, let's say the formula of k1 and k2 so if you put these values inside the equation and it would it would give you the same result now I have already written three formats okay which are the most used ones you can write even more I have just written three for demonstrating that this really works and it's really simple so f of x is equal to x plus y x into y and x squared plus xy okay x into y in that case right so these are the three equations that I have written. You can write even more. It's the same thing, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and choose the first one first. Press enter. And it would give me the following results. K1 is 0 0.1, K2 is 0 0.12, and the average is 0 0.11. It's exactly the result that I got in my book. And I'm not saying that because I haven't tested it. It's completely tested and you can trust on it, okay? So let's see. Now it uh, says us to if you want to try again, press one. I either just press any other key to exit. I'm gonna press one and press enter. So again, the program restarts, and this happens using a go to statement. Okay. Now it says again, enter the values. I'm gonna enter the same values again. You can enter any value, and I'm gonna choose the third one. There you go. K1 is equal to zero. K2 is equal to that, and the average is that. So the main thing is the program really works and it's really simple as I should demonstrate it to you right now. So leaving this function for later, I'm going to start with the main first. I've declared an integer option and uh, three floating values. I've declared the option for choosing the option between the switch cases. And these three uh, float values that we just used to enter these values to make some calculation with it. I have chosen this as float because you can enter the values in floating point and as well as in a decimal without a whole number. Okay. 
So that's why I've chosen that as a float. And since the calculations are going to give me in floating values, I've also chosen the K1, K2, and K, all of them as a floating value. Okay. Then I have declared a label over here. All right. So whenever I call the go to statement, which is right over here, I can go directly over here. All right. So that is why we have used a go to statement. There's a video on my channel on go to statement. If you don't know how to use it, there's a video on it. Then also, I've written that please enter the value of x, y, and h. Okay, so these values I entered. After the value is entered, I have cleared the system. Okay, so once the system is completely clear, means that I mean that the screen would be cleared. Okay, you can use the CLR, SCR as well. I'm going to use this one. I prefer this. And then there's the given data, and we'll display it in a single line. And then what I've done is used uh, a cout statement to display the formula and then an endl statement to change the line okay so i've used endl basically everywhere and then i have ch uh, written a simple menu cout choose the format and i have displayed three formats over here each format has well each of these are assigned to a case right so first case being this one second case being the second function and third case being the third function I mean third function then it says enter the option and it would wait for the user to enter an option and it would choose the corresponding case depending on the option that you have entered so in the case I enter 1 so it's gonna execute this or if I enter 2 this and 3 this if I don't enter any of these three values it would give me incorrect option if I run it and demonstrate it to you right now let's say uh, 1 2 0. Point 3 all right and I enter the value 4 it's gonna say incorrect option and that's it okay that's what I've displayed over here and the program would exit obviously now inside each case I have written the formula for calculating each function which is basically multiplying and doing some addition it's basically following the formula that I've given above right over here it's really simple then here is where I will explain you the function okay if repeat is equal equals to one then system clear and go to the label okay so I'm gonna go to the function the function says that please uh, try if you wanna try again please enter the value one either enter any other key okay this is what the function does and if I enter one it's gonna return one if I enter zero it's gonna re if I enter any other value it's gonna return zero so I've written over here if repeat is equal equal to one means if it returns the value one it would go back to the statement label which is right over here okay and if not it would just exit the program so basically that's what I've done in all of these cases but the formula is different for each that's the only thing that I've changed is the formula now I'm not gonna explain you in deep the formula because it's really simple and if you just look at it one time and you will understand it I'm gonna put this code on my website the links on the description so you can go ahead and if you wanna try it out you know just go ahead and copy and paste and run it into a compiler if you like it just you know put a comment on the page I would really appreciate that so anyway this has been a channel Dr. Chaos I hope you like this video rate comment subscribe thank you very much